While Noah and his family were safe inside the ark, the world they knew had perished. The rains continued to deplore down upon the earth. The dark clouds boiled across the sky. The huge ark became a tiny box in the almighty water. The days and weeks have passed, and in the 41st day, the rain stopped, and the sun came shining through once again. Is that sunlight what I see? Exactly. Look at the sun, Noah. Oh dear, take a look. Jehovah God, is it true? Does it happen just as you said? Oh God, I know your promises are true. Noah, Noah, it's true. The rain finally ended. No more rain! Although the rain had ended, Noah and his family were not aware that their time at the ark just begun. It's almost five months. And we are almost running out of food. Don't worry, family. God has always protected us. He will provide everything for us. He knows when we should leave the ark. Noah picked out and saw that there was water all around. Water was far away. Noah waited for the water to dry. After the flood waters had covered everything and all living things had been destroyed, eventually the waters began to recede. Exactly five months later, the ark came to rest among the mountains of Ararat. The flood waters kept receding for almost another three months. Noah looked outside, but still, the water was not dry, but a little bit of land was visible. He could see the top of the mountains. Noah waited another 40 days, then opened one of the portholes high up on the side of the ark. Fly out, little raven, and check if the waters have gone down. But the bird came back because it could not find a place to stay anywhere. Noah understood that the water is still not completely dry. Go out, little dove, and test how far the waters have subsided, and come back if the ground is dry enough to walk on. But the dove didn't find a resting place, because a lot of water still covered the earth. When it returned, Noah reached out and brought it back inside. Seven days later, he sent the dove out again. This time, the dove was gone all day. In the early evening, it returned with an olive shoot in its mouth, so no one knew that the waters had also receded from the valleys. He waited one more week and again released the dove, but this time it didn't return. Noah came out and shouted out, Look! Look at this beautiful view! Noah, my child, all of you can come out now. Empty the ark of all creatures, cattle, birds, and creeping things, so they can scatter over the earth, and that they may multiply. Then God opened the door of the ship. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you for protecting us. Never again will I flood the earth even if man's heart continues to be evil. Never again will I destroy every living thing on the earth with a flood as I have done this time. As long as this world lasts, planting time, harvest time, cold, heat, summer, winter and day and night will continue. Look. There is the sign of my promise. I am putting a rainbow in the sky as a reminder of my promise about the future of men and animals. The rainbow will appear wherever it rains to remind people of my promise never again to destroy the earth by a flood. The rainbow will be in the clouds for both of us to see. This rainbow is the sign of my promise to you and to all living things upon the earth. And this is the end of Noah's story and the ark. In this story, we saw how God helped Noah and guided him. If we believe in God with true heart, 
and with true reverence, then He helps us in troubles. God also prevents us from going on the wrong path. If you like the story of Noah's Ark, then share this story with your friends. Thank you, Lord, for the story of Noah in the Bible. Thank you for your beautiful rainbow, which reminds us always of your promise. We pray that we will all be like Noah, obeying and trusting you fully. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.